Big news this week out of the United Methodist Church's General Conference overturning old language that barred LGBTQ people from acceptance in service in the faith and this afternoon overturning their ban on gay marriage. Our Kent Davis tells us what's been changed and how it will affect local congregations. Every few years, representatives for United Methodist congregations gather to discuss policy changes for the church outlined in this book right here. And this week, Representatives ended 52 years of policy that had previously excluded LGBTQ people from the clergy. Allowing people to be who God has made them to be will only make the church stronger. Pastor Jeremy Peters tells us his wife Jennifer was one of the 800 plus delegates discussing church doctrine in North Carolina. Friday morning, he showed me one of the most monumental cuts she and others made to the doctrine. Is, uh, is this sentence here, the practice of homosexuality is incompatible with Christian teaching. Therefore, self-avowed practicing homosexuals are not to be ordained as ministers. Also thrown out, the belief that gay people are incompatible with the faith, as well as a policy punishing churches for performing same-sex weddings. We've seen changes happening that people have been working towards for decades. SVSU professor Jeff Kapersky says this isn't an unexpected change for the UMC which lost its more conservative faction to a 2019 disaffiliation. They could see where this issue was heading. Um, uh, the more conservative churches did not like where it was heading. Even so, he says it's nothing to sneeze at. This is going to be something that, that opens up uh, you know, gay weddings and, and obviously gay clergy. Now, to be clear, Peters tells us the new stance is one of neutrality. These policies do not institute any kind of hiring requirements. Nobody's going to be forced to do anything they don't want to do, so there will still be a variety of, of experiences in different local congregations. Pastor Peters tells us he expects a very celebratory Sunday service, and he hopes that he'll also see a very busy wedding season. In Flint, Kent Davis, ABC 12 News.